First at five, the only highway access for vehicles traveling between Hatteras Island and the mainland is shut down. Without warning, NCDOT closed the Bonner Bridge this afternoon. There have been worries about this bridge for ages. Is it stable enough to handle traffic? But after some very careful scanning of that bridge, the answer is now no. And it's going to cause quite a headache for residents and tourists. We have team coverage of this developing story. We start with Art Khan live at the bridge. Art, this is pretty serious. Yeah, it, it is, Tom, but I'm going to tell you something. For longtime residents who live down here, actually, as shocking as this announcement was when it came today, it really comes as no surprise to many of them. As you just mentioned, North Carolina Department of Transportation has known for decades that this span was standing on borrowed time. Then, just this past weekend, they issued a release saying side sonar scans revealed some significant erosion around the base of the support pilings to the bridge down on the bottom. And then, but they said the bridge was still safe enough for traffic and that it could remain open. Now, just a couple of days later, they reversed their position on that, saying that as they continued to monitor the situation, additional areas of concern were revealed and they decided to close the span. Now, in the meantime, an emergency ferry service is being established to carry people and cars across the Pamlico Sound. On the south side over here, or rather on the north side here where we are, you could catch the uh, ferry at Stumpy Point, which is close to Manio, and then on the south side, they're over in Rodanthe. I'll have more about that coming up. But you know, it's also interesting to note that while they've known for some time that this bridge has needed repair, even replacement, they awarded a new contract to build a new bridge in August of 2011. You might be surprised people that live down here are even angry about what's delayed construction of a new bridge. I'll have that and more information on the ferries coming up at 6 o'clock. Reporting live from Highway 12 at the base of the Bonner Bridge, Art Con, 10 on your side. All right, Art, we'll see you at 6. Let's keep the story going with the impact on traffic around the Bonner Bridge. Emergency ferries between Stumpy Point and Rodanthe are getting ready for people who have to get around the Outer Banks. But the sudden decision, along with the major inconvenience, is raising a lot of questions for people who live there and those who run the government. Our team coverage continues now with 10 on your side's Andy Fox, who has spent a lot of time on the Outer Banks covering hurricanes and everything else. Andy, you know it very well. Yeah, Nicole, first call I made when I heard about all this was to the Dare County Board of Commissioners. We got a call back from the chairman, Warren Judge. He has been outspoken on environmental challenges that Art was alluding to. He claims have delayed a new Bonner Bridge. Here's the bottom line. Beginning tomorrow morning, the emergency ferries begin operating again, not due to ocean overwash from storms, but because the Bonner Bridge is unsafe under its own weight. Not cars or trucks, but its own weight. Chairman of the Dare County Board of Commissioners, Warren Judge, calls it devastating. You can't get there now. You're going to have to, uh, once the ferry system's up and running tomorrow, uh, <clears throat> you know, round trips 11 to 12 hours. Uh, if you can endure the wait. Judge says it's not some minor repair. It is a systematic failure of the bridge. And how long will it take? The less challenging repair uh, repairs could take uh, as much as 30 days. Uh, if, if, if it was more complicated, three to four months. Judge hopes it's not that bad, but he's warning everyone it could be that bad and says NCDOT made the decision when they discovered one support structure was weak and the one next to it was just as weak. They discovered the one next to it, apparently it's the one right next to it, that has the same problem or maybe even worse. 5,000 people live on Hatteras Island and now this and judge blames the legal challenges to replacing the Bonner Bridge for the state that the bridge is in now. You know, I've served on the Kentucky County Board of Commissioners for 13 years. It was supposed to restart under construction my first year on the board. It's just ridiculous that we have this problem today. Yeah, this is devastating to residents who need special medical attention, issues dealing with life, safety, and welfare issues. This is not a road washout. This is a bridge that the experts are now saying cannot support its own weight. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side. To sum it up, the Bonner Bridge in North Carolina is now closed due to safety reasons, and it is not going to be a quick fix. Emergency ferries are being prepared to run between Stumpy Point and Rodanthe. Ten of your sides, Art Khan and Lauren Compton, are both on the Outer Banks covering the story, as well as Andy Fox in the newsroom, as we just saw. 
We'll have more at 6 and more on Wavy News 10 on Fox 43, as well as our 11 o'clock show. And follow us through our app and on wavy.com.